edition, A Taste of Piran. Now playing on more 104.7 FM. Ah, boy, it's a pleasure being here once again. Always a good vibe, a good energy when you walk in your room and you feel that, that good feel, that, that good feeling, especially on a Friday. Yes, of course. Definitely, of course. You know, people always want to know what's happening with uh, with RKG since uh, you know the, the, the Spanish uh, the Spanish song. Yeah, yeah. We keep talking about that one. Of course, the ladies are just loving that one as well. Of course, uh, tell, tell people what's happening with RKG from then to now. All right, well, basically, um. Spanish dancer for the carnival season did great. Um, it was an experiment, first of all. It's, it's one of those songs that um, when I started doing people, it's like, hey, you really feel this good, you know, do something for the carnival. I was like, you know what, um, that type of artist that like to do music that could just transcend beyond just carnival. You know, I don't like to put myself in a box mm. and, and be seasonal. So Spanish dancer was designed for that. You know, um, many thanks, of course, to... Um, Bass, bass from Ricky Post, as he plays the bass on it. Right. You know, it was um, live instruments, so it gave that kind of vibe. I did the video, the music videos out. You know, people have been loving it. Um, that's with the Spanish dancer. Um, currently going to release an album called Eccentric um, on November 8th. Right, so I'm releasing my album. Right, and within all of that, the first prong I did, I know you all also played, and that was a few years ago with myself and Kenny G. Mm. Right? I did a, I did a prong before Kenny G called One Foot. And um, Mark, big shouts to Mark, Mark Anthony and Alan Diaz, they came, you know, friends and co workers. They oh, was wow. like, hey, what? Um, yeah. Why you don't do a, a parang again? I mean, you're doing plenty of dance all soca, do something for, you know, the people for Christmas. Yeah, man. You know, and I was like, okay, I think so. A friend by the name of Mark, Mark Abu Koma, is like, you know what? I have a song I'd like to feature with my daughter, mm -hmm. La Fiesta Rhythm. And I was like, all right, cool. Decided to check him. Did the verse, freestyle the verse. Mm -hmm. And he then said, you know what? I have another rhythm. And he mm -hmm. played this rhythm. Right? Actually, um, Kabuki and uh, Dice is also on the rhythm. Yes, yes, yes. It's called the Sweet Bread Rhythm, right? Yes, yes. So 
He played the rhythm and right there and then I got that vibe. I said, you know what, let me sing something. A lot of times people just sing music, but let me sing something with a storyline. Right, right, right. So in this song I'm saying here, what my girl got upset because she saw a message on my phone. A girl messaged me asking for a paintbrush, right? And she said, you know, if you see this foolishness, I'm fed up, I leave. And I said, well, you leave it because of that, you're accusing me wrongfully. Mm. I'm going to parang by myself. Mm. My gosh. I'm yeah, parang in by myself. Yeah, you're parang, you're parang in by yourself. Definitely, yeah. You know, um, the second verse also said, um, I saw after all of that she left, I saw in a party. Mm. You in a party breaking away in a parang, and you want to come back? I said, nah, mm. I ain't taking no apology, I'll parang by myself. <laughs> None at all. Long and short. <laughs> I see. So that's how the, 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 the song came around. Parang in by yourself. Yeah. Okay, tell me more about that. What's been happening with, with, with RKG on the soca side as well? All right, well, the soca side are basically um, presently working and I wanted a follow-up for the, the Spanish dancer song. So I'm working at some, something around that vibe. You know, that, 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 that slow, groovy vibe. That vibe that you can play not just for carnival, but for the, during the entire year. You know, um, on the album, the album is a album that you can actually put in a car and listen to. You know, different songs on the album in terms of the, the, the soca, the dance, or the fusion. Different topics I have a song called um, I Don't Want You Back. Mm -hmm. Right? I have a song called Freestyle Brock. We have the Spanish dancer. I have a song that you'll play here, actually. Um, big shout to Howie T. You know, I hear how it's playing it a lot. A song called Flatline talking about the crime situation. It's sort of a, a reggae kind of song. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, and so, when I first heard it, I said, uh, I said, wait, that, that is our kg. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. It, it sounds as though, like, like you jump out the box, as they say, and it is something a bit different inside. Yeah, I try to mash up the box. You see, I don't like, um, growing up, I grew up listening a lot. Of my mom, you know, she's, oh. she's East Indian. Um, my father is from Tobago, and I grew up listening to all types of different music. My mom, my mom was a, a lover of Gregory Isaac, Peter Tosh. Mm -hmm. You know, these artists, these, these, those days, I mean, you would know that these are cassettes. Yeah, you know, yeah, you course, ca the cassette stretch because <laughs> you keep playing it over and over and over. You know, so I was inspired by a, a, a lot of different genres of music. Uh -huh. You know, East Indian music, African music, you know, the, the, the dance soul, um, the Spanish music. So that's why I try to... to because of the influence, incorporate all these cultures and vibe in my music. Yeah. Of course, of course. Uh, tell us, well, I know you made it to uh, a Soka Monarch semi-finals as well. Yeah. Tell us what your experience was at um, that time, because people would like to know, I'm sure, as well. Yeah, um, I've, I've, I've made it a few times well to the Soka Monarch. It was a nice experience. I mean, competition makes you better. Mm. I think so. Competition makes you better because you know you have to go up against sometimes your friends in the business, and it's all good. It's, it's, it's good competition, you know. But for now, I try my best to not venture into competition because I want to focus more on doing world music, music that could be accepted by not just our people, mm. but beyond that. You know what I mean? They, no, go ahead, you go ahead. Yes, the last yeah. album, my last album was considered for a Grammy nomination. If you, you go Google it, RKG Caribbean Born. Yes, uh, I saw that. I yeah, saw that as well. The album was considered for a Grammy nomination. It was um, um, distributed by VP Records. Uh, they have a sub label called VPAL Music. And um, this time around, I decided to do my second album, mm -hmm. where I think the, the, the genres are. I went more deep in terms of the, the writing and putting the work together. With the different producers, different producers I've worked with, you know. So, so tell me more about this song that we're going to release inside today. Who are uh, who penned the song? All right. Well, basically, um, when he played the rhythm, the idea came to me one time, right? Because mm. I didn't want to go and sing, you know, just a parang because I want to sing a parang song. I wanted to come with something different in the sense of, you know, give you that storyline because I like music with storyline in it. it. You know, it, it, it says more. You know, it have, you know, substance in it, mm -hmm. right? So basically, a lot of people go through that Christmas time. Sometimes you get a message on your phone, you get a ping, oh, who's that? Failure. You know, like, like, like my lovely friend here, mm -hmm. right? You get, a, you get a message on your phone, who's that? Who are you talking to? It's just a message. It's just a message. And you want to leave because of that? Yes. So the song was made for those insecure people that. Oh my God. Well, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, read the message carefully. Read the message. I don't like calling. 
<laughs> read the message before you judge me. Come on. There right? are so many insecure people on your you side. Are seeing you, a message. you are seeing a message on my phone. A woman is asking for a pain brush. Right? You upset and you want to leave me Christmas morning? You Can you get the pain for your brush? <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. You want to leave me Christmas morning? Oh hear what? I'm going to parang by myself. Mm. Before we touch the song, yeah. uh, let the people know what, uh, what, what, what the future holds for RKJ. All right, well, definitely. Um, I'm inviting you all, right? I'm here today, and I want to say many thanks, of course, to Sharon Amar, Mr. Amar. They always give me the love with the music, mm -hmm. and and, and I, I will tell you, you see, coming from a, another network also, sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes people don't embrace you like that. So I want to say many thanks to them mm -hmm. for embracing all the DJs, all the announcers on the station for giving me the love. Um, the album is releasing November 8th at Government Plaza Auditorium. You all are invited, everybody here, mm -hmm. definitely invited. Um, it's from 7 p.m. to midnight, you all could come and, you know, it's about not just me, but it's about, you know, showcasing the music itself, the culture, the art form, you know, so that's, that's my mission right now, to get that music out there. And this song now, um, I really, really, really like the fact that, you know, since it released, people really, take to the song they love the vibe they love the energy you understand because i grew up listening men like baron men like kenny j you know crazy so when i did this song i say you know what if you listen to the style of this song la da di die right i say let me do something that i think i'm um, all ages will accept and like well it was related you definitely so so you know well, Wednesday, next week Wednesday, is mm. our Parang Pavement Line, right here in front of M1475. You have to come and perform, my not? Yes. <laughs> we are inviting you. We are inviting you to come and perform. I'm taking that invitation. Brush, yeah, nice. Yes. Of course, TNT, uh, RKG inside here with uh, me and uh, Carrie V. Carrie V. I yeah. keep forgetting Carrie V. Wow. Carrie V. It's yeah. unusual Carrie name. V. It's, it's unique. It's nice, though. And of course, uh, she's vying to get inside M1475. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You know? So, RKG, introduce her song inside. All right, it's yours truly, RKG, and I always remember this, eh? Can't get both faith. We just spread love here. So we're spreading love, more FM 104.7. It's called, cool. it's called Power by Myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.